<laughs> oh, I see some good friends from, uh, down here down south. I see some faces that were at the central meeting the other night. You know, as I was driving down here, I'm trying to figure out what am I going to say? You know, I, I had a nice story that I told over down in uh, Oracle and Pago the other night. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I was thinking that thought, I was, it started to rain and the, on my way over here. The wind was blowing and I said, God, first thought was, this is a good night for Kanu Manuk, you know? <laughs> and let me tell you, those of you who don't know me, and I know those who have heard me uh, last week, they call me Kanu Manuk. And the reason why is because I love to tell a story of how Kanu Manuk actually relates to this election. You know, even tonight, I'm sorry I'm a little, I was a little late, because my wife actually, Sunday's our dinner night, and she, I told her last, last week about my speech about Kadum Manuk. And of course, when it was raining up north today, she, she made a nice pot of Kadum Manuk. She really did, honestly. I almost didn't want to come down, because you know how, how it is after you eat, you just want to sleep. But it's like, ah, this is uh, Malolo Tala, uh, in Rahan and whatnot. I gotta go down, see my friends down here. But let me tell you, those who don't understand the whole Kadum Manuk analogy, is that whenever I have had a good challenge in, uh, in the weeks ahead or in the days ahead during the week, or if I've had a hard day and today's just one of those days where I just need to recuperate, get healthy again, my mother back then and now my wife would make me a great pot of kadumana. And it wasn't just any ordinary pot. She would go down to the store and handpick the vegetables herself. She would make sure they were the freshest, they were, she would make sure that they, they, uh, they conformed in size. They were, she would make sure that all the different ingredients would blend well into the kadu so that each ingredient brings something, whether it's nutrition, whether it's flavor, whether it's texture, or maybe a combination of all three. And she would put it in. And she wouldn't just haphazardly just throw things in. She would do it very intelligently, very systematically. First, she would put a little bit of oil do the garlic and the onions, saute it up a little bit, put the chicken in just to brown it, add the, the broth, a little bit of broth just to simmer it a little bit, get it nice and tender, right? And then she'd start adding the vegetables, whether they were beans, whether they were cabbage, whether it was pechay, whether it was uh, the squash, whether it was tomatoes. She'd put all kinds of ingredients in there. And in the end, of course, she didn't use every single good ingredient because she would never put bitter melon you know, ampalaya into, the, into this kadumanuk, she would make sure that it always blended well, right? You put something that doesn't belong in that soup, as good as it might be, it's not going to taste right. It's not going to taste right. And the reason why I tell this story is because that's the challenge we have today. That's the challenge we all have today. Our island, while we're not bad, we're not there yet. We're not in a perfect condition. And we do have challenges coming ahead. We still have the military buildup that's going to happen. We still have uh, the, the, the federal issues that we need to solve. There's all kinds of things that we face. The challenge before all of you is to make a good pot of kadum manuk so we all can feel good, so that we will have the health, so we will have that benefit of feeling stronger, of doing our job, of being able to move this island forward. And I pose to you the challenge. That pot is the legislature. We got 15 great ingredients that you all can put into this pot that will make this pot really good. It will make it very nutritious. It will actually even give it a good aroma. And it will be something fresh that you bring, right, with full energy. And so I'm asking you to consider making this pot to the best of your ability. And before you take a look at any of the other ingredients out there, take a serious look at each one of the 15 ingredients that you have right here in front of you. Because you've heard them all already. They bring something to the table. Whether it's fighting for the veterans, whether it's talking about the police, whether it's talking about those who are less fortunate with disabilities, we all combine, bring together, if you put us all together at the right time, at the right spot, on the right day, you will have a great pot of kadu that will definitely make this whole island feel much better. And going forward, you will see that kind of improvement. You will see that people start to smile. And as Governor Felix Camacho said, you will have the easing of that anxiety. Because after a good pot of kadu, right, all you want to do is sit back and say, oh yeah, that's the one. But anyway, I'm Jim Espaldon. I'm number one. If you're trying to figure out which ingredient I am, put me in first and try it.
you're going to like it. Okay. Speaking first, my name is first on the ballot. I'm number one on the Republican side. I ask for your support. You, uh, those of you who know me and those of you who even know my family knows where I'm coming from. It's coming right down there. But I tell you, right now, I know that all of you are looking at me and saying, you know, that's not where I feel it. I feel it right here. So I think I better end this right now. And uh, we're going to let uh, uh, Frank Ariel over there uh, bring us to the table and let's break bread. But thank you very much. Thank you for your time.